X-ray transformers. As, as many as you want. Is that high voltage wiring? No. I've got myself a couple of these today, guys. What's that, mate? The, cap the caps isn't a problem. What's that, mate? If we... Two of these each. You're going to get four in the car? Even if after John has to walk back and fit in four in the car. <laughs> They'll make your boot way down a bit. Yeah, I know. I was hoping for some uh, two larger ones and then two smaller ones, if possible, and uh, other bits, I mean, but... The problem, the problem is... Yeah, you have to bear in mind these are all used for uh, X-ray departments. Yeah. All, even a small X-ray generator is going to kill a lot. So they have to be able to take 64 before they're made, which ones are KB. So they have to be, you know, a physical size to do that. Yeah. It is. You've got 50 quid. I've got 150 quid. But I haven't got any uh, money to buy food. I told you, you're just going to... I know, but you know how I feel, really. Yeah, don't be daft, mate. Don't be daft. I told you it's all right. We don't, um, we don't have to take everything today, Phil. Oh, no, no. We're... Yeah, we're going to have to bring them over to the world. It's travelled to the open miles. It's going to be the best place. Both disabled. And live. Nothing to fit the miles away. So I can always... Uh, Hey, are Chris. What about one of these, mate? It's a monoblock. Yeah, you see that one there? Or the... I've had one of those exactly the same as one of them. Yeah, that's, uh, that's off an OPG. I'll just have to ask Trev why it's on the... Why it's on the... On uh, that pallet. pallet. So, what's the difference between a fern... Is it a fluoroscope? No. Sorry, I hope you don't mind me asking. No, it's just a second chest. No, we're fluoroscope. When you do an x-ray, normally you only like... <coughs> it's all x-ray Picture. Well, obviously, you do a you get like a video. You're going to need some hell of a ballast to be running these uh, for any amount of time. Um, no, they're not, uh, they're not <coughs> really too bad. There's, there's, like I said there's some quite sophisticated electronics in the generators now that, that cater for all the uh, variations. It's a lot different to the old days. The old days it was all almost mechanical conversations. I think, uh, yeah, I think I might just leave that one and come. One of them in the day, and just take two two big ones. I think. Chris. Okay, so well I can I can check I can tell you it may, it may be that it's our only OPG three tube. Yeah. And although it looks old, we still look after a couple. Yeah. But but that's that's there, old as well, isn't it? That's one as well, isn't it? That's Which an is old. Uh, got the old. It's got the tube in it as well as the transformer. Yeah, that's yeah that's some, yeah. Uh, an old dental. That's dental right. Head. So that will be sorted out. 
I know about my dental leads, I've had quite a few of them. That, that one will be scrapped for sure, because that's only a 50 kV. Yeah, that's the that's sort of I wanted, but I'd never fit it in the bloody car. So, do you remember that a, one that we showed you on that picture? That bloke had lifted it out. That's yeah. a CPI one. Yeah. Are you going to let me buy you one of their big ones? Looks like it's been made in take four of them, and I'll buy you one of them. It's a bit much, John. Huh? It's a bit much, mate. It's not. It is. I know I have. That's what mates do, though, isn't it? It's what friends do for each other. Where, where do you live, then? I live in Norfolk. Oh, right. And he had to drive down this morning to pick me up and then come back here. Yeah. Um, I, uh, drive well, to here. And then he's got to drive back to here. And then he's got to drive me back. Yeah. And then drive back home again. So, well, that's the day. I'll get to make this tomorrow. <coughs> yeah, said it's mine. I do like that. I can't believe I can't believe this workshop, this warehouse. This, this is Chris. a small one. I just cannot believe it, mate. You when you said you had a lot, mate, I didn't think you had this many. Do you want, do you want to stick your head in the unit's food? Seriously? Yeah, we'll go out and look. Alright then, I'll keep the video rolling then. <coughs> I'll leave... Uh, I'll leave... Uh, I'll leave... I'll leave... I'll some uh, longer... Some longer... Uh, Sheet, yeah. I'm just trying to find a cloth to wipe them off, because obviously... You yeah, but I've got a container in the car. Just chuck them straight in, yeah, yeah. and a, and a I, I bought rags as well. Rags and obviously stuff. Obviously, whenever we, you can see in there, whenever we put HCs in, we always put a bit of oil. Has I say, have these all got oil in still, have they? Yes. They're, so we yeah. wouldn't have to vacuum them and they're already done. Yeah, so we don't need to do any of that, do you? don't have to do anything. The right. only thing you have to do, if, you're gonna, if they're going to get hot, yeah. in fact, you might not even have one on here. Yeah, I've picked, I've picked a bad example. If I pick a Philips one, you have to loosen the screw when you install it. So that screw there. Yeah. Because as the oil gets hot and cold, obviously it expands. Isn't there no diaphragms in these? You know the 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 tube, like a little balloon of of, of rubber, which there is in the the, the 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 no. They normally just use a breather hole. Right, I've got you. Yeah. In the tube, you have. That's right. It's there. Yeah. Well, that that was leaky, but there's the rubber diaphragm there. So this one expands and contracts yeah. in the end here. They have them in the dental heads, don't they, them ones? Yeah, and that one, that, those switches there, are when that bellows <coughs> expands, when it gets too hot, it stops the X-ray X -ray from working because it's expanded too much. So it's like a temperature uh, check. See, so you've got a lot of old monitors in here as well. Yeah, a few. And some old computers as well. Some, some of them I've got to sort through. Great stuff. Right, so this is really just the, the recycling uh, shed. So like all the plastics and that you get rid of. Little machines as well. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I told you it'd be worth it, didn't I? Thanks for your time for doing this, Chris. That's all right, we've got quite a day today. We'll go to uh, Lincoln tomorrow. It's a bit extra yesterday. I don't know why that was. Can you believe it's snowing again? Yeah, it was snowing on my way over this morning. <laughs> oh my god. And pretty well everything you can see is x ray. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe you got all this lot. 
It's beyond words. It's a few, um, it's a few years worth of petrol there. It turns over. Are these all? Are these all just for getting rid of? Then are they? Yeah, it's all for sale. But we do various installations in hospitals, vets. So a lot of stuff goes abroad. How did you first start off, Chris? If you didn't mind me asking. I uh, I did an electronics apprenticeship in the army. Right. And then while I was in the army, I, I used to look after um, onboard computing in tanks and guided missiles. <laughs> And I converted to medical equipment while I was in the army, so I looked after hospitals. But I used to do everything in the hospital. And then when I left the army, I, uh, I've just done x-ray stuff since. Yeah. I did my first x-ray course in 1982. Wow. And I've and, got uh, a generator in here that was the very first one I was ever trained on. That's an HT tank in the bottom, the white box in the bottom of the... It's a whole generator, that is. Yeah. It's a little American... American thing. These are the only ones that we really have an ongoing use for. Because these are Siemens ones. Yeah. Because yeah. it's the current it's the current generator. This is still sold brand new today. So these these are still current, whereas most of the other stuff is out of date. But that's the generator, obviously and that goes inside it. That's only a oh no, that's a, that's a cheap old one. I noticed a little dental, ex uh, dental head round there, which I uh, got myself a uh, few of. Yeah, the problem with dental heads is it's very limited on power. Yeah, that's right. So a few, a few MA, and they're only, e even the high KV ones are only 70 KV. So I can just look over there, Chris. Yeah. You can reload them as well, can you? Yeah. What's there? Look at all those. Oh, this block. Some nice caps as well. Yeah, that's a generator that's been robbed for spares. Is it? Can I go and get my toolbox? <laughs> well, that, that's why it's still there like that, so uh, we need parts. But the, these do blow. These are, these are always blowing. Yeah. I've got one in Exmouth near Limston that's. I was going to say, are they like GVTs or Aetheris there? The thyristers, the yeah. Uh, yeah, the IGBTs are in the Philips ones. Um, these caps are lovely, these caps. I'm, I'm, what are these rated at? Do you know, Chris? I, I don't know off the top of my head. You want, you want to see the cap? Uh, Ooh! Uh, yeah, they're complete, unfortunately. They've got a connector on both yeah. ends. And they're £40 pound a pair, so. Oh, right. We won't we'll be asking for. So I've got the cables, but I just haven't got the the bit, the ends. See why you. You've got some really, really old ones, have you? It's a Newton Victor from 1961. Oh my god. This, this is a proper X-ray set. Wow. So it's one of our museum pieces. That's another. One. That's. Well, that's worth some money, you know. That's a 1958. That's uh, early 60s, don't know what year. Every time we come across a really old one, we keep them. That, that's obviously fairly old. We keep them because um, the television companies sometimes phone us up and say, we're doing a period, period. You've had that, have you? Yeah, we've done a couple of x-ray rooms for like the Royal. When they've had an x-ray set, 
and they wanted something from mid sixties. Cool, to, blimey. To use and look authentic, and we've, we've got it all. <laughs> Sort of, sort of, I still love my job. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would. <laughs> I'm passing the stall to the club. I only agreed to keep them in it because we make, we make a few quid out of them every now and again. Yeah. But otherwise, I'd just weigh them in and scrap them. I get more excited when I get a new CT scanner. <laughs> 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 Is it, is it that high, is it, off them? It's enormous. You In fact, I'd go far to say if I went to my doctor, and the doctor says I'm going to send you for a CT, you'd have to...